Hi guys, volume the Abrew News. Just got back from Gettysburg, got the kids, got everything. Got attacked by a couple cats. And I'm allergic to cats, so that's not good. Um, and then I had to come home and vacuum dog hair and all that good stuff that happens when you're not at the house for three days. Um, so before I get an amazing allergy attack, I can kind of feel it setting on it right as we speak. I figured let's get a big old stout in. Let's kick it up. Let's see what flavors we can get. This is one I've been really looking forward to. Founders Imperial Stout. I think most of you out there in the old uh, brew world have know about Founders and know about this Imperial Stout. I haven't been able to find it until just now. So, here we go. Comes in, I'm pretty sure, at a big old like 10.2% alcohol by volume. I just put that about 10.5 alcohol by volume. Massive. Absolutely massive. Grand Rapids, Michigan, of course. That is a wow. Dark head. Look at that. That head is darker than most beers I've had. Really nice. See what kind of alcohol curtains this thing has. Nice. Nice boozy legs on this one. Swirl it around. Let's get some nose. Mm -hmm. Massive dark chocolate, baker's chocolate, even a slight sweet milk chocolate. Definitely got your espresso. Floral, floral and earthy booze. Mm -hmm. Floral and earthy hops and a, and a booze quality. I want to say there's a slight citrus, but I, I can't really tell it because that, that booze is wafting up. Yeah, that kind of uh, really floral booze is kind of coming up and wafting around it, so I can't even tell, I can't tell exactly if there's citrus qualities. But it is floral and earthy. It's really nice. It smells warm, that booziness, but not as much as you think for 10.5. Let's get a taste. Cheers. That's kind of chewy. Wow, that's really good. It leaves with a really espresso coffee end, mixing with that hop, that earthy hop bitterness. You're gonna really smack your lips on this one. That's got a lot of dark chocolate, a lot of espresso quality. Really easy to drink, surprisingly. Yeah. Wow. Tons of dark chocolate. Tons of baker's chocolate. Tons of espresso. Um, about a full medium mouthfeel. Actually, I want to say a low full mouthfeel. We'll go for the low full on this one. Nom, nom. Char. Definitely got a char quality, bit of smoke. I know it's not barrel aged, but boy, that's charred. And it probably comes from that extreme roasted grain that's in there. Wowzers! That is still residually leaving a char, earthy quality in my mouth. That's really good. I mean, this is, this is black as. Really, really, really dark. <laughs> Starting to get the nose going. A little faint hint of a ruby just starting, but never really actually gets going. Wow. This is a big boy, but you guys kind of knew that already, didn't you? This came out of the back of the car when we came home. And in that process, it's chilled down a little bit but you're still getting a whole lot of flavor. And it's residual, too. It's big. It's exactly what I want in my Piro Stouts. I really like this one. I'm not going to give it a 10. Can't do that. But I will give it a 9.5. It's that fucking good. This has been Paul from P.A. Brunis with Founders Imperial Stout. Are you surprised I like it? No, you're not. Cheers.